Well, the World Health Organization has said that it reached out to more than 2 million people through health emergency services in Bomo, Adamawa and Yobe State despite terror threats and the September floods that killed many and displaced millions. The World Health Organization stated this during its agenda for the 14th Joint Operational Review held in Meiduguri. It noted that it faced challenges at the peak of the flood, hence the need to commit 25% funds next year for local NGOs and partners to strengthen human resources and emergency health responses against disease outbreaks, strengthen health campaigns against gender-based violence and sexual abuse in the Bay State. The WHO country director, Walter Molombo, revealed that the review of the health system became imperative for transitional change and improvement due to the humanitarian crisis posed by terrorism and flood in states like Benue, Plateau, Borno, Adamawa and Yobe states. And if you do that in food transparency, you know how much you mobilize, how much you go to the communities, and we put the best uh, mechanisms to make sure that the organization, uh, grassroots organizations that are benefiting from it, also adhere to our standard, including the requirement to protect women, fight gender based violence, and commitment to zero tolerance to sexual exploitation harassment and abuse, maybe all forms of abuse. Uh, our state preparedness plans, as the initiative, we have preparation for any outbreak, any emergency, or else the outreach areas, whether you call it emergency response to outbreaks, whether it is human resource for health, have all been done in tandem preparation the WHO coordinating other partners. We have had a lot of partners. Some of them have left, some are still here, and they have contributed immensely to the health and welfare of the people of our state. In other states, not only in terms of uh, the emergency response, but even in terms of uh, you know, some of the emerging diseases that are coming up due to the zero dose of communities not, you know, taken to the uh, vaccinations, whereby we are confronted with some challenges or some emerging diseases. I tell you, much of it, you know, the result we have gotten is due to the, you know, uh, motivation that the staff have gotten, you know, from the government in terms of swinging into action with the partners that we are working together, also supporting the state teams. In so doing, we will be able to actually bring it to the various minimum.